The page gets the tally from the council proxy and delivers it to David. David turns with a precise heel click and bows to me. He says in a booming and clear voice, My lady, the Universal Ruling Council has voted and I have their final judgment on the Thronoxian threat. I say in a very little girl's voice, How say they? He replies, Death, by Imperial Universal Law. I say, Head Imperial Law Arbiter, is this in accordance with Imperial Universal Law? He snaps to attention with a sharp heel click and replies, It is, my lady. I ask very sadly, so say you all? The chamber explodes with one voice, so say we all. I feel remorse for the billions more who will die. I raise my hand over my head. I clench my fist hard. There is dead silence for a heartbeat. A huge earth-shaking explosion as the weapon fires. All the star systems, ships, and their fired plasma weapons that showed Thronoxian rule vanished from the star field to be replaced by rapidly expanding spheres of hot gases and dust. Silence in the Great Hall. I give them time to verify what they have seen. Thronoxians exist no more in the cosmos. Genocide is a new and horrible realization to me. The total eradication of an entire species of intelligent being and the biospheres that sustained them. I hurt with the knowledge I have again destroyed billions. There is pandemonium in the Great Hall. I can hear the voices rising in utter disbelief. I feel a great darkness in my heart. I also need to have my diaper changed. I focus on this to try and shield myself from the remorse in my heart. It doesn't really help, but it does keep my mind focused somewhere else. I call David over and whisper in a baby voice, Mickey go potty and need change. David smiles and kisses me softly on the cheek. He says, I think we are done here for now baby. I'll have the captain return you to the nursery. I stand on the chair. I give David a hug around his neck and a little girl kiss on his cheek. David smiles. He thanks me for the kiss. I wave my hand and the star field vanishes from the air above the dais. David brings the hall back to order. He says in a loud booming voice, Is there any other grave need for my lady? The council agrees this was the only thing. David calls the captain of the guard to him and whispers something quietly. The captain comes to me and picks me up again and checks my diaper. I feel embarrassed. The captain says softly in my ear, Mickey is a good baby. I'll have her back to Nana shortly and have your diaper changed. He gives me a sweet little kiss on my cheek. I giggle shyly, blush very pink, and squirm. The captain smiles. He is truly fond of the Empress. She is such a cute little baby girl and can perform her duties as Empress at the same time. A perfect woman. As he carries me out of the chamber. I am on his shoulder. I find I am sucking my thumb again as the Grand Universal Ruling Council watches Baby be carried back to her nursery and to Nana's love. I dread what Mommy's going to do to me. At least I know this horrible feeling of remorse and darkness in my soul will be gone. I take temporary solace in this.